Student loans in the United States are a form of financial aid intended to help students access higher education. In 2018, 70% of higher education graduates had used loans to cover some or all of their expenses. With notable exceptions, student loans must be repaid, in contrast to other forms of financial aid such as scholarships, which are not repaid, and grants, which rarely have to be repaid. Student loans may be discharged through bankruptcy, but this is difficult. Student loan debt has proliferated since 2006, totaling $1.73 trillion by July 2021. In 2019, students who borrowed to complete a bachelor's degree had about $30,000 of debt upon graduation. One almost half of all loans are for graduate school, typically in much higher amounts. One loan amounts vary widely based on race, social class, age, institution type, and degree sought. As of 2017, student debt constituted the largest non-mortgage liability for U.S. households. Research indicates that increasing borrowing limits drives tuition increases. Student loan defaults are disproportionately common in the for-profit college sector. The schools whose students have the highest amount of debt are University of Phoenix, Walden University, Nova Southeastern University, Capella University, and Strayer University. Except for Nova Southeastern, they are all for profit. In 2018, the National Center for Education Statistics reported that the 12-year student loan default rate for for for-profit colleges was 52%. As of 2012, 39% of federal student loan defaults occurred for people who attended for-profit colleges. The default rate for borrowers who do not complete the degree is three times the rate for those who did. One A 2018 Brookings Institution study projected that, nearly 40% of students who took out loans in 2004 may default by 2023. 